Welcome back to Cat TV News. Starting off this week, the boys and girls basketball team started this year with two scrimmages. Here's some highlights. Their next game will be Thursday, December 14th. Girls will be playing against ACIT and the boys will be competing against Violin. There will also be a swim meet on that day against Holy Spirit. Good luck, guys. The senior and sophomore class conducted an interview with the natural science class with their reef making. Here's a look. Hi, this is Cammie and Marty here with Cat TV News, and we are here with natural, uh, natural Sciences with... Gianna. Jocelyn. All right, let's go. Uh, hearing about this being a fundraiser, what will the proceedings be going to? Uh, the proceedings will be going to our FFA, uh, Future Farmers of America, for natural sciences and for environmental sciences. So, going on with the fundraiser question, uh, what is the exact goal of the fundraiser? The exact goal of the fundraising is for FFA to continue to grow in our school and to continue to try to get more members involved in our FFA community and also to get better stuff to be able to be a great team for FFA and to represent our school properly. Is there an exact cash goal? Not that I know of, no. Interesting. Here I am with Ms. Toft of Natural Sciences. So, Ms. Toft, what is the exact cause of this fundraiser? Um, so we're doing recent gray blankets for our FFA chapter. Uh, we do make money and the proceeds go to FFA, but the, the real reason that we do this is so that the students can learn the different species of trees, they can learn um, what you can do with different parts of nature, and then that gets them more interested in learning about um, the species of trees and pine cones and different like floral design techniques uh, and how to basically work on something for a month outside, it's a really good training for what they're going to be going into in the, in the field of their choice. Is this fundraiser annual? Yes, I've been doing it ever since I've been here, so I've been doing it for 11 years, 11 years, three times a day, outside, all day, every day in December. I love it because uh, I love being outside, so it be a beautiful weather, beautiful weather. How has working with these kids been? I love it. I get to know them a little bit more because we actually get to stop and talk while we're working on things. And once once they get into the, the second week of learning how to do it and, and I don't really have to, you know, tell them what to do anymore, we get to actually have some fun conversations and get to know each other a little bit more. It's, it's really fun. All right. Thank you, Ms. Toff. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank um, you. And I hope this goes successful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him look at you? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm Sage. And I'm Brendan. And we're back with the Naturals kids and we're asking about the gray blankets that they made. Alright, uh, how long does it take you to make one? So, for me, it'll probably take maybe the next three days, probably, to complete one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It takes a lot of time, but we try and make it the greatest quality that we can. Who are you selling the gray blankets to? Uh, yes, so uh, these gray blankets are meant for anybody who has a deceased relative, memory eternal, um, that they can, um, throughout the holiday season, um, put them in front of their graves instead of flowers, which might more easily perish um, in the snow and cold. Um, and so these are supposed to stay out there as a memorial um, and remembrance. Basically. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just make a whole bunch of little clumps like these. We put them on, sew them together so it looks real nice. And they go on just like that. Uh, why did you choose this material? Uh, we chose it because it's better for like the natural environment. Obviously, natural sciences, that's all what we're, what we're all about. Um, so we'll actually go into the woods, we'll cut down some of the some of the sticks, branches, and we will take the greenery off them and we will clump them together, as Tyler said. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. Back thank to the you studio. So much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Kate May Tech is introducing Student of the Marking Period. Every marking period, there will be five students, each from their respective classes, as well as one from halftime, recognized for their achievements. Good morning. We are very excited to announce our first quarter Student of the Marking Period Award winners. Your teachers were asked to submit names of students who go above and beyond and who exemplify what it means to be a Cape May Tech Hawk. 
and your names were all submitted and we are very proud to award you these certificates. So at this time, when I call your name, please come forward to the podium to accept your certificate. Haley Halverson. Thank you. Congratulations. Noelia Schaefer. Thank you. Congratulations. Haley Joyner. Congratulations. Emma Narciso. Congratulations. And Travis Lombardo. Congratulations. We're very proud of these students, and we know that they will continue to make us proud for the rest of the year. Thank you. Congratulations to all the students who were awarded. Friendly reminder that Skills USA and NHS are hosting a food drive up until December 15th, and the non-perishable items are appreciated. Now for this week's question of the week. This week, we asked Tech what dish they are most skillful at preparing. Is there any special dish of food that you are good at cooking? Yes, Brendan. I am very good at cooking chicken marsala, and also another specialty of mine is chicken caprese. You guys are making me hungry. I can make rice and beans. Kraft mac and cheese. The microwavable kind. I'm really good at making grilled cheese. I'm really good at making ramen with hard-boiled eggs and some chicken. Pop-tart. I do homemade french fries pretty good, and uh, oftentimes make them with sweet potatoes too, so homemade sweet potato fries. One dish I'm really good at preparing is anything that has to be with eggs, like scrambled eggs, an omelet, anything that has to do with eggs. Uh, one dish I'm good at preparing is uh, pizza. The dish I'm really good at preparing are burgers. And I'm really good at making mac and cheese. What is one dish you're really good at preparing? Uh, I would have to say chocolate pretzels. Chocolate pretzels? Waffles. A uh, cereal. Some grilled cheese. Eggs with cinnamon, sugar, and syrup. I've been told that my pulled pork is absolutely amazing. I don't know because I don't eat it. My shrimp fra diablo is the greatest anyone will ever taste, but I'm really more into baking than cooking. My scones are epic. My chocolate chip cookies are the greatest in the world. I like to make pasta and chicken. I'm actually really bad at cooking, but I'm really good at burning ramen. I'm really good at making breakfast foods. A breakfast sandwich. Um, cinnamon rolls. Microwave hot dog. What's your favorite dish to prepare? Probably grilled cheese. How about you? <laughs> I can't cook. Well, that's it for this week's news. Remember, next week is Spirit Week. I'm Massimo. And I'm Andy. Thank you for watching Cat, Cat TV, TV News. news.